everybody and welcome back it has been a wonderful month off and i hope you all are doing well and taking care of yourselves and possibly even had a month off of your own and if not that's okay i hope you all have some continue to do uh yep get up get up you get up get up get good night everybody <laughs> sorry <laughs> um I hope you all are doing well. I hope you all are taking care of yourselves. I hope you all have done, even if you haven't had a month off like I just did, I hope you all have done everything you needed to do to take care of yourselves and make sure you all are doing. Why is it not showing up? Oh, I'm on the wrong scene collection. One moment. There we go. There we go. Sorry. Uh. <clears throat> yeah, apparently I forgot to change the scene collection from Friday. Oh, well, it is what it is. Um, anyway, I hope you all are doing well and taking care of yourselves, as I've already said a thousand times. Um, I'm looking exceptionally bright at the moment, so let me down that a little bit. There we go. Um, <clears throat> do I have any announcements other than I'm back? Um, not really. Not that comes to mind. Uh, nothing major. You know, um... Yeah, no, I got, I got, I got nothing. Um, nothing important, nothing major, nothing worth announcing. Um, I do need to write a note to myself real quick. Uh, I'm just now noticing something that I should probably be. There we go. Uh, sorry, I needed to write that down so I didn't forget. Um, for later. That's okay. Um, anyway, announcement. Do I have any? Not really. Uh, technic- My birthday is on Thursday. De la vie. Um. But, uh. Yeah, no. Other than that, I got nothing. Um, oh, I'm an idiot. I just realized I do not fully have this all set up how I needed to. Can you tell I'm a little bit out of practice? Um, I don't have half the shit up that I need to have up in order to be able to see the stuff I need to be able to see in order to be effective at this. I apologize. All right, that's there. Oh, I think I had it over there and then would do that. Maybe? I don't remember how I had this laid out. That's okay. Uh, I do know I had it always on top. Oh, yeah, no, this looks right. This looks right. This looks right and familiar. And then I had that open for in case I needed to have anything open. Right, 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 right. Sorry. Can you tell I'm out of practice? It's been a month off. In fact, I had to I had to set an alarm to make sure that I didn't forget that I streamed tonight. <laughs> anyway. Uh Anyway, 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 that's enough rambling from me. Um, just a quick reminder though, oops, wrong button. Uh, this button. Um, I have a link tree right here on screen, link tree slash Crimson Knight. Uh, if you go there, you can find my, well, you know, you can find all the places where you can find me, basically. Um, it's uh, also a good place to uh, support me and all of that. Like you find my Patreon, patreon.com slash Crimson Knight, which is right in front of you. Um, but, uh, yeah, anyway, um, brain, 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 do I have anything else? Um, oh, if you're watching this on YouTube, the VOD of this, please like and subscribe and all that stuff, finger guns, um, but, uh, anyway, that's enough out of my bullshit. Let's get back into this.
Let's see if I re remember how to play this game. Do da do da. Do I remember how to play? Do da do da. If I don't, it's still okay. Oh, the do da day. All right, so to catch, to catch you up with stuff that I've done, they're gonna have to wait. Um, overall, we are at 73% total synchronization. Um, we have, I have, uh, if I can find the right button. Do da, do da. Did we read this? Um, yes, okay. Uh, Secrets of London. I have all the Secrets of London. Which we know because I have the uniform. We already did that. All right. So if you look at the perks, I have 97% of the perks. There is... I don't remember if I had all this before the break or not, so I'm just going to go over it. Uh, the There's only one perk I don't have, and that is Road Rage. Kill two enemies with your carriage in less than 25 seconds. I've done that once. <laughs> um, <coughs> it, it's... There's a reason I haven't uh, grinded it up, uh, and we'll worry about that at another late, another date. Uh. Uh. Yvonne, why'd you leave? Hi, Yvonne. Why did you? Hi, Yvonne. Bye, Yvonne. Why did you leave? Um. Rip. Sweepy? Sweepy? Because sweepy? You're sweepy? Anyway, as you can see, I've done almost all the gang activities except for a couple of gang wars. Um, I've not done all of the memories because, you know, I was waiting for stream to do that. I have all... I have pretty much all of the currently available chests and collectibles. Except for uh, this one, Royal Correspondence. Um, but uh, yeah, I have um, also leveled everybody up. Maximum gang upgrades, maximum skills. Almost, almost all the tools crafted. A good chunk of the gear crafted. Um, I currently have the best available of different things. Um, she has that. Uh, I believe Jacob has that. Um, I still haven't gotten that upgrade. Um... Anyway, the story so far, because it's been a minute, Jacob has discovered that Sterick's banker, Philip Twopenny, was planning to use his position as governor to rob the Bank of England. Jacob infiltrated the vault and assassinated Twopenny. Evie headed, to, meanwhile, Evie headed to the Tower of London, hoping to find the Shroud. After a final confrontation of Lucy Thorne, after having a final confrontation with Lucy Thorne, she managed to recover the key, but the Shroud is still missing. Also, because we now have all the collectibles, uh, do, 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 do. let's just quickly clear all this. We have all the beer tasting notes. Including one fry and fry. Sean's tasting notes. Are you sure this is meant to be drunk? Because it tastes for all the world like a new concoction for Evie and Jacob's poison darts. <laughs> anyway. Pressed flowers. Ooh, strawberry. Illustrations. Oh, I missed some. Hold on. Here we go. 
All right, and present day, here's what we were looking for. Because <clears throat> we were gonna, oh, I don't, yeah, I still don't have it all. I don't have it all. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Now, there we go. Okay. So, we're gonna just quickly go power through these. Isabel, what a lovely surprise. Are you recording this? Hmm? No, oh, yes, I record everything I do. Never know when an unexpected breakthrough will happen. How are you? Terrible. I've been tasked with archiving the genetic memories from Project Legacy. Well, it's a shame how that ended, but I'm glad to see the data isn't going to waste. It's a waste of my time and talent, just as your current assignment is a waste of yours. Ah, work is work. Despite the setbacks in Denver, the Arab Stergo satellite is a very interesting... Fiddick had his chance, and he's blown it. They'll never find a new apple in time for launch. The Animus Project is dead in the water. Meanwhile, you and I are members of the Inner Sanctum, and we're being treated like sodding interns. But what if we could give Mr. Rickon a new working piece of Eden? I'm listening. Don't listen. Look. Look at this. P.E. number 66? Where did it come from? The Project Legacy data revealed that the company acquired it in the 40s. I want you to help me get it working again. This fabric... it's very fragile. But there's technology in it. You study the Shroud. Find out anything you can about its original purpose and methods of use. I'll cross-reference the genetic memories from Project Legacy against my archive. With any luck, I can locate more people who came into contact with it. Together, we can unlock the artifact's secrets. I get to play with an artifact and take Vidic down a peg? How can I refuse? <laughs> You broke it? Broke what? Broke what? What happened? What do you mean you broke it? Do da, do da. Yvonne? Everything's green on my end. Yvonne! Yvonne, come back! <laughs> what do you mean you broke it? What do you mean you broke it? Because if it's a problem, I need to fix it. You were like, ha ha, I broke your stream. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. I was worried. Don't do that to me. Not a hacker. <laughs> no, but you may have been like, it may have been a thing that happened uh, simultaneously out of coincidence. Like, you know. Basically, something on my side could have broken at the same time that you... Because... And then you said that in response. You called me all the way to Paris for this madness? Listen, it's been months and we are no closer to get the Shroud to work. The microscopic <laughs> technology in its fibers is similar to what we found in other pieces of Eden. An alloy we've dubbed Pathoritka. This alloy seems to react specifically to thought. But the artifact itself remains inert. That's still no reason for this course of action. What if the Shroud doesn't save you? Do you know just how much of Abstergo's money we've embezzled into our sacred project here? Uh -oh. Because I'm sure Mr. Rickin noticed by now. And if we have nothing to show for it, so I'm going to wrap myself in the Shroud. And you're going to do what needs to be done. One way or another, our current dilemma will be resolved. Fine. Shit. <gasps> I am conscious. The erudite god. Ah! Wow. 
Well, interesting. Sounds horrifying. I'm not happy about this at all. Why must you always shoot yourself in the head to summon the precursor consciousness? Because it works. I tried slitting my wrists, nothing. I tried overdosing on pills I to get my stomach pumped. It was all very unpleasant. It has to be a major wound for the artifact to activate. The risk is unacceptable. Without you, there's no future technology division. So I brought you a qualified volunteer. I'm Agent Viola da Costa. It's an honor to meet you, sir. Ah, is it? I tried to recruit you once, and you turned me down for Sigma Team. Uh, I thought I could do more good in the field. Oh, shit. A dazzling brain like yours is going to waste. Agent Acosta is assigned to you for six months. Make the most of it. Then let's get started. Wrap yourself oh, no. in the artifact, uh, please. I know how to summon the precursor, but I've never been able to communicate with him. This is going to be an interrogation. Bingo. If it's all the same to you, I'm going to leave before the mess. Mess? What did she mean by... I am Constance, the erudite god. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, hello. I, I want to know more about you. D tell me, did you create the shroud? When I was flesh, I apprenticed with the Faustus, a maker. The war of unification raged. We created devastating swords to end it. But then... Healed. I created shrouds to heal. I suspected that it might have been a tool to treat casualties of war. How does the shroud heal such terrible damage? The body is a construct, a machine. Blueprints stored within. Shrouds access these recovery centers. Repairs damage to specifications. <laughs> a factory reset. Wait. Shrouds? There's more than this one? This is the original. My prototype. Created in the year 1923 of the Isu era. Isu era? I have so many questions, uh, uh, but let's stick with you. How is it that your mind resides in this artifact? I was old. I wanted more time. Bodies, constructs, minds are programmed. Uploaded my program into the shroud to cheat death. Succeeded. Failed. Trapped in my prototype. Trapped in my forgotten land. Alive. Awake. Cannot speak. Only watch. Generations pass. Technology grew. My kind created yours. I never imagined machines like you were possible. My descendants prove me wrong. Generations? How long have you been? The damage is repaired. Rest now. <sighs> that was indescribable. When can we do it again? How about now? Templars, man. Oh my god. Poor Violet da Costa. We like, I like Violet da Costa. Very problematic. Very problematic. I like, Vi I like Violet da Costa. Um, she is a villain, but I kind of like her. And it's, of course, an ad break. Um, she's, uh, she's the one who was constantly calling us idiot or, or dumb dumb or whatever. Numbskull, I forget what they call it. what Nick what what kind of nickname like that she was calling us in uh uh Assassin's Creed Rogue when we were um uh dealing with Sh uh Shea Cormac. But anyway. So the first three uh the first one happened in the year twenty eleven. Um in Oct on October third, twenty eleven at Future Technology Mexico City branch. Second one happened in, 20, in January 4th of 2012 at the Future Technology Paris branch. And this one was, the one we just listened to was five months later, plus or minus half a year. Hey, 
Rose. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for subscribing. 33 months. You are quite impressively uh, consistent. <laughs> I appreciate you. Welcome, welcome. And yes, yikes is quite the, quite the word. Uh, so now this next one is um, half a year later uh, in December 21st, 2012 in Future Technology Paris branch. You look distracted. We were supposed to launch the Iabstergo satellite today. Uh, what might have been. So, here we are. Our final session uh, together. Yes, the day that I'm not uh, shot in the face, Desmond died. Yes. Having Constance in my head is the craziest fucking thing. Oh, sorry. Uh, but yeah, it's the day that Desmond died, for clarification. You look distracted. We were supposed to launch the Iabstergo satellite today. Uh, what might have been. So, here we are. Our final session together. <laughs> I'm not gonna miss getting shot in the face, but... Yes? Having Constance in my head is the craziest fucking thing. But it's also... Soothing somehow. Is it weird that I'm gonna miss that? I'll let you in on a secret. I talk to him when no one else is around. I know what you mean. Well, let's say our goodbyes and get you on your way. I am Constance, the erudite god. Violet is leaving us today, Constance. Everything is impermanent. Jason, Giovanni Borgia, William Woodman, here then gone. I simply thought you might like to say goodbye. It is good to talk again. To brush up against another mind. Even simple ones such as yours. I'll choose to Damn. ignore that. You are marvelous creations. Exceeded your programming. Made something from nothing. Flawed but bull. I approve. What the hell? The current temple is open. She lies in wait no longer. It is done. The world is saved. You played your part well, Desmond. But now, now it's time that That's I Juno. play mine. Minerva has failed. All is lost. What was that? Answer me. The damage is repaired. Rest now. <sighs> what the hell was that? So the names that they li that she listed, uh, Jason, as in probably the Greek hero Jason. Um, God, so much happened in that one. Jeez. Uh, um, but uh, yeah, that's the day that Desmond died. In fact, the, the exact moment that he died. I put enough tranquilizers in Grammatica's coffee to knock out a whale. Good. You will be back in Montreal as soon as we're done here. Oh, so this is almost a year is, later. Who's getting shot in the face? Of course. Oh, Oop, sorry. Uh, Future Technology Paris branch about a year later. I put enough tranquilizers in Grammatica's coffee to knock out a whale. Good. You will be back in Montreal as soon as we're done here. That's also so Otto is, Berg's voice. Who's getting shot in the face? Of course. Okay, let's do this. Master Berg! Explain yourself. How the fuck are you up and about? Please. I shit better drugs than whatever wick that you spiked me with. I take it <laughs> this isn't an official Sigma Day mission? Juno has an entire cult of worshippers under her thrall. The inner sanctum may not see a threat. I do. Sigma team's been disbanded. You've both been reassigned to the Phoenix Project, and yet here you are, defying orders by breaking into my facility and trying to interrogate the precursor. I know I liked you for a reason, Berg. Proceed. Thank you. I am Consus, the erudite god. Tell me everything you know about the one called Juno. Juno, the schemer, three centuries after my 
of death. She found me. Usurped my work. Used it for her own ends. He who is the image of Aita. He will herald her return. Juno wants to exterminate us. Perhaps once? Your uprising was an affront. But after the catastrophe, everything changed. Explain. I cannot. She vanished. Plan set in motion. She lay in wait. Then hypothesize. What does she want? Hypothesis irrelevant. Civilizations crumble. Flesh decays. Everything is impermanent. Except the gray area inside of systems. The connections. Precursor her minds are powerful. If Juno is inside of a network, she could control it. And the planet grows more networked every day. You are right to be concerned. This merits further study. So the reason Juno is in the network, remember, is because of the events of uh, the modern day stuff in um, Assassin's Creed 4. We, the player character, released her into the networks um, after she had been freed and uh, freed by Desmond. Um, we released her into the networks in uh, Assassin's Creed 4 um, at the behest of the Sage. Um, and uh, the Sage being the one who holds the image of Aita. Aita being the uh, love of Juno's life and dying. Uh, he was dying. She saved him apparently by utilizing the shroud tech. Um, and he has been reincarnating himself over and over and over again uh, in humanity's DNA um at randomly more or less as far as we're aware um and uh he was Bartholomew Roberts he was uh in Assassin's Creed 4 he was um shit what was the asshole's name in Unity uh was it John de Molay was it Malay? That was his name? I don't remember. Uh, he was the guy who killed uh, Elise's father in Unity. The guy who was behind it all. Um, and uh, and uh, let's see here. What else? Um, he uh, <clears throat> oh, he was the tech guy from Assassin's Creed 4. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's the guy who has the heterochromia and the same face every time, but, uh, yeah. Oh, wait. So this is the Phoenix project Phoenix lab, uh, in Paris, um, about a month and some change later. What's up, Doc? Love the new workspace. Violet! What a lovely surprise! Can't stay. I'm just here with a special delivery. Oh. Oh, you didn't. Oh, yes, I did. This is the dear departed John Standish, the sage? Consider it a thank you gift from Mr. John Burke. Standish. But we have yeah, a that was his name. I can't bring Mr. Him Standish. Back to life. The shroud doesn't work that way. We know the primary goal of the Phoenix Project is to sequence precursor DNA, reverse engineer artifacts, and all that good shit. But we want you to make something for us. A body. Even with this sage, a viable clone is still decades away. Then the sooner we get started, the better. Can it be done? I don't know. But I can't wait to find out! Yeah, they're trying to... Project Phoenix is trying to essentially create a body for Juno, but not quite. And then this is oops, 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 too far. Uh, 
about a year later, give or take. Uh... Okay, so that is the one we just listened to. This is the one we want. All right, Andrew Consus. Between the Standish sample and the recovered blood vials from Bartholomew Robert's stash, we're pulling incredible data. The promotions are nice. The work is amazing. But there's so much managerial bullshit to deal with now. It's enough to make me miss the days when all I had to do was get shot in the face. Dr. Grammatica, can you hear me? Violet! What the- Shut up, no time. There's a team of assassins on your doorstep. But my clones, the Shroud! I've dispatched Sigma team, but they're going to be too late. Get out of there, double time! Galena, can you keep them off my back, please? I'm trying to steal their data before the servers go up in flames. Templar, jump! Nice to see you having fun. Hello, we're here to destroy your abominable samples and... Wait, are you wearing a blanket? Is it fireproof? No, wait, that's the... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Mission accomplished. Gavin's waiting, we go. I am damaged. Prepared. Rest. <gasps> Goodbye, Consus. Thank you. Well, the Paris facility was completely destroyed, along with our best samples. All that work lost forever. With that in mind, these are notes towards increased efforts in locating new precursor samples. I want to merge industry and entertainment in the hearts and minds of the public. Every product and service of Stergo offers should be sending user data to Helix for us to look through. That would be a tough sell to a public who's already scared of Big Brother. So we will sell them on Big Mother. Nobody likes it when the government snoops on our social media. But everyone's wearing an Abstergo body band fitness monitor. What about uh, an Abstergo stenographer? We take a sample from the plaintiff and defendant and then relive the case to the animals. Yes, that's what I want. I'll ask Mr. Rick and Tulin on the Justice Department to get samples from the prison population as well. Laetitia has authorized a series of Abstergo clinics. We're going to open them in cities around the world. Abstergo healthcare. Imagine being adopted and finding out who your birth parents are, along with your entire medical history in minutes. Under Melanie Lemay's watch, Abstergo Entertainment has more users than ever. That's great, but that's still a pretty small user base. But we need to expand our demographics not a lot of virtual feature enthusiasts in the octogenarian set. So let's make products that appeal to them. I want to create a digital wake where people can show the loved ones they leave behind their best memories together. From the Angelus baby monitor to a virtual funeral, I want everyone on this planet to be connected to Helix. Then we can, uh, we can, ah, oh, damn it. What is the use? It's over. I'm finished. That's 2014, uh, December 1st, 2014, uh, in a redacted location. Um, interesting. interesting. Next. Oh, we don't have 9 or 10. Or 11, actually. So I don't have all of them. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty three. Okay. So I don't have all of them, but I do have much of them. <clears throat> anyway. <clears throat> Once we get the last three, then we'll go through the rest of them. Um so yeah, first things first. Let us let's do gang war in Westminster, gang war in Strand. Uh, let's do the Strand's gang war. Our train is right there. 
So we'll do that one first. While that's loading. Seems a letter has come for Jacob. All right. Wrong way. Come on. Oh, yeah, wrong button. A letter for me. All right. Let's take a look. See at his equipment for a second. All right, so I do have him in the Master Assassin outfit. He is in his best belt possible at the moment. Uh, in fact, I think it's the best best belt, unless this one's better. I don't remember. Um, best gun, best gauntlet, and I was right. I do have him in the legend with the legendary assassin spookery. So yeah. We'll start out with him doing some, uh, some moita. Join us, Jacob. We're about to set out to fight the blighters for the territory. I hear you've dealt with Mr. Lynch on your own terms. Now all that stands between you and the Strand are his ever-loyal cronies. Good luck. This borough belongs to us! That was quick. Ladies and gentlemen, we are Jacob and Evie Fry. And as of this moment, you all work for us. Right. Oop. Damn it, keep doing that. Um next up is Westminster. Back off. I always knew the rooks were strong, but I didn't think you stood a chance against the bludgeon. There isn't much standing in your way now. This borough belongs to us! Ladies and 
gentlemen, we are Jacob and Evie Fry. And as of this moment, you all work for us. And with that, and with that, London belongs to us. Lambeth, Southwark, Thames, City of London, Whitechapel. Sorry, just. Okay. Strand, Westminster. Now, as you can see here, I don't have all of the stuff. Um. And that's because those are the royal correspondence, which I'll do later. They are technically available now, but I'll do them later. Um, <clears throat> all right, what memory should we do first? First off, let's swap to somebody who's actually, you know, good at their job uh, and not no, uh, not annoying. Um, let's see here. We have an activity with Clara O'Day. Uh, Ned Weiner needs us. Berlin specimen, a Charles Darwin memory. And across the streets from that is Charles Dickens with Hell's Bells. Another Charles Dickens. We have several Charles Dickens memories. Uh, Robert Topping. Um. Okay. Murder over here. Frederick Aberline. We have a uh, we have a memory with him. Um, let's go down here and see what o uh, Clara, what Miss Clara could use our help with. Because we like Miss Clara. She's the little child, little pint size, who runs pretty, who pretty much runs the orphans on the street. She is down here. Sir? Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. If you're pleased, I'm pleased. I'm pleased as punch. Not even sure if that's an era appropriate saying, but I'm gonna go for it. Don't let the side down. What you need, your chief. Yes. Hold on. How am I? How am I doing on upgrades? Not upgrade. Here, that one. Uh. Okay. So I do have everything that I can craft crafted. Um. Because I need to find schematics for the four, five, six, seven items, and the rest is all crafted. Okay. Cool. Hello, Mister Day. Miss Clara. You've done a wonderful job of helping the children of this city. So what you're saying is, I'm a hero. We pitched in what we could to properly express our gratitude. Thank you, Clara. Oh! Yeah, that's right. Evie gets the hug. Fuck off, Jacob. Um, 
It didn't pop up with an award, a reward, because I've technically already gotten it. It was this right here. This reward right here at the end of the, and at the end of the Clara O'Day track here. Um. Anyway, I was going to go up to Ned next. Ooh, Ned. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Ah. <coughs> oh the Friends, hello, hello, hello. Building a picture gallery, are we, why not? Present for my good friend Adam. Do you treat all your friends this way? Never mind that now. I wanted to thank you for all your help. You twins are nothing if not diligent. Please accept this as a token of my gratitude. Well, the wheels of London never stop. Always more work to be done. God, I love them. I've had enough of you, guys. All right. So that's. We do technically still have a Clara memory down here uh, in Lambeth. That's all the memories in Southwark. No, no memories in the Tim's. <clears throat> we have two of these murder mysteries in uh, City of London. Let's go talk to Abilene because these don't these are memories, but they don't technically count as memories. They're conclusions to things, essentially. So, you know. She did a curse splash. You do not get to talk to people that way. That's a horse. My bad. Carry on. Carry on my wayward horses. Dear Abilene. Oh, Freddy. I hardly recognized you in your police togs. You certainly scrub up well. I thank you for your help in collecting these bounties. I am impressed with all you have accomplished. And uh, I wish you luck with your future endeavors. Oh, Freddy. 
buddy. Oh, buddy. All right, now we don't have anything up in White Chapel. Ooh, let's go over here. On our way to the Strand, let's solve a moita. We're gonna solve a moita. We're gonna solve a moita. Let's go solve a moita. Let's go solve a moita. Let's go solve a moita with all the gusto. Let's go solve a moita. Let's go solve a moita. Let's go solve a moita once we get a carriage. I was not watching where I was going. Time to solve a moita. 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 That's it. With the child of the guy, uh, the child form of the guy who wrote Sherlock Holmes, who supposedly based Sherlock Holmes off of us. What are you doing up there? Just hanging out? <laughs> Professor Bing's body. All right. Shenandler Bong. Ms. Shenandler Bong. So that's not the ball, eh? I don't think. Unless it is. We shall take a look, see doodle. Shall we? There is a body. Professor Bong. Professor Bing. Bang. Bing. Bing. Uh, the body shows evidence of having been in a terrible struggle. There's a deep cut to the forehead that appears to be surgical. The cut goes into the skull itself. Okay, somebody tried to siler this man. Good to know. Professor Bing's body, cut to skull. There is a signs of struggle. <clears throat> Let's talk to witnesses. Her name is Angela. It's so very awful. The professor died of an art attack just days ago. Then tonight, I hear pounding at the door. I open it to find him bleeding and in pain. He tried to say something and collapsed dead again. Interesting. He supposedly was, he supposedly died from a heart attack and then came back with this massive head wound. Interesting. He kept repeating, bar queso, bar queso, over and over. What does it mean? I do not know. Angela, the housekeeper. All right. Hello, good sir. 
Emmett Bing. Oh no, are you the brother of the deceased or the son? I'm sorry for your loss. It's unthinkable. Such a great man. Husband. We were still in mourning from the Roommate. burial. He was buried yesterday in the family plot. Family plot. Okay. But again, Bing. Let's see. Is that your husband, brother, father, sister? Not judging. Or are you guys just roommates and share the last name? Emmett Bing. Professor Bing's son. Okay. Thank you for answering that question, game. I will stop making the joke now. Oh, there's something yellow over here. What is this? Bing's home personal letter. My dearest love, I do not understand your father's antipathy towards me. I fear that he will take steps to disrupt our engagement. Please obtain his assurances that no matter if you marry me or no, he will render you your due when the time comes. Your betrothed, Virginia. Okay. So this guy is betrothed to somebody who the father did not appear, approve of. What was that? What was the last word again? Barqueso. Barqueso. Okay. Barqueso. Barqueso. Oh, I hope you guys don't mind me checking upstairs. No, not at all. All right. Uh, ooh, what do we got here? Bing's home, a sculpture, an intricate, an intricately carved sculpture, evidently of African origin. Thief. Uh, there is a small recess where something could have been hidden. Could that sculpture perhaps be called Bacchesso? <laughs> Yo, game, calm yourself a little bit. Just has the word African plastered on the wall there. Jeez, calm down, game. All right, we're going up to the tippy top. Third floor. Well, the second, third. Yeah. Third floor. There's some kind of a spider or a brooch or something. A spider. A letter from a colleague. Esteemed Professor Bing, my research trip has been a great success. I have been able to verify personally se several of the unusual customs that you chronicled in your brilliant book. Once again, I am humbled by your genius. Professor Silas. I believe I should reinterrogate a suspect. Bing's home. Legal letter. A recent letter from to Professor Bing from his attorney. My dear Bing, I s can certainly amend your will to discourage the marriage of your son with the young lady in question. An annual allowance that will be suspended in the events of such a marriage should serve the purpose. If, as you suspect, she is driven by love of money, such a provision should considerably dampen her ardor for your son. Uh-oh. I wonder if someone could tell me more about this. All right, now let's check out these boxes, this car, this crate here. Bing's home, a crate. An open wooden crate shipped from within London. It is clearly marked to be opened only by Professor Bing personally. I should return and find out about this. All right, let's check out the spider. Dead spider, a large distinctive spider curled up in death. Okay. It is a large spider. An army of spiders. I have a suspect, a suspect, a suspect. I have a suspect. Yippee ding. There is a sting mark on his body. Uh, struggle, cut to the skull, but the sting mark could be from the spider. Which is my theory, my lovely theory. Ms. Angela. 
He got he told that me about a few this days crate. ago. Inside was a statue. I thought it was a marvel. But he told me it was quite common. I don't know who sent it. So the statue was inside the crate and it was only to be opened by him. But it was quite common, so it wasn't even like a rare art artifact. Artifact. Um maybe not even real, or maybe not even real potentially. Spider? Let's get that out of here. Emmett is definitely Emmett. afraid of spiders. Emmett is definitely afraid of spiders, so it probably wasn't him. Because people don't tend to use their phobias to to uh you know, murder people. Unless they're trying to make a Joker-esque statement. African hidden spider sent by whom? Venomous? Question mark. Shipped from nearby, opened by Bing, contained the sculpture. Take a letter, discourages marriage, modifies will. Silas's letter, recent travel, unusual customs. All right. All right, let's go talk to Emmett. Oh, you have a kitty! Oh, wait, hold on. Virginia, fiance, father's antipathy. My father was an eminent anthropologist and something of an explorer. He made his name by investigating the practices of a small village in the Congo. His colleagues at the university often sent him trinkets from abroad. <clears throat> this is no time to talk about the will. It is true that my father and my fiancé didn't get on, but I'm confident that once he got to know her as a daughter-in-law, they would have become friends. Hmm. All right, what's this say? All right. I need to talk to the dick. Virginia, that's her name. All right, just quickly checking to see if there's any other notes that are new because after those conver conversations. Then a moose. We go to either the cemetery or the university, whichever is closer. Looks like the university may be closer. Should have gotten a horse. There we go. Let's do. Let's take uh, one of these carriages, shall we? Hey, taxi. Go on. Hey. <clears throat> Good to see you. Good to see you. How you been? <clears throat> Ooh, that's a lot. Okay. be you madam oh you're virginia hello uh betrothed to the son of the murder a lovely man and quite wealthy i only wish he had lived to bless my alliance with his son i'm sorry to hear about that do you know whether that change was actually made mm-hmm mm-hmm Gold digger. She's the university assistant and fiance to Emmett Bing. Hey, Matt. Thanks for the lurk. Thanks for popping in. 
How, uh, how was your stream? You were streaming, right? Or are streaming? A university handkerchief, a, a handkerchief at the university. A lace handkerchief with red embroidery. Okay. Saying something about the cemetery and I haven't been to the cemetery yet. A suspiciously nondescript receipt for seven pounds. Okay. Seven pounds. All right, let's go upstairs. She works at the university where the professor was employed, which tells me... that she had access to a lot of information. Uh, hanging in there, lots of stuff going on lately. Yeah, yeah, I had a lot of stuff going on this month, which is why I took a whole month off instead of just a week. Uh, but I am back. Um, I'm doing good, I'm doing good. Uh, my month off, I did manage to get rested and relaxed and all of that type of stuff, uh, despite the fact that I did have a lot going on. Um, but uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I'm sorry to hear that there's a lot of stuff going on lately for you. I hope I hope it's uh, good stuff or fun stuff and not like bad stuff. University illustration of a spider. An illustration of a spider resembling the dead one found in the Bing home. A note describes it as a rare spider found in Bolivia whose venom is a strong tranquilizer. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Uh, you are always welcome to, uh, you are always welcome to check in on me and kick my butt about something if you need to. Uh, but I, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Um. <laughs> the treatise by Professor Wilson, uh, on the topic of an unusual Bolivian spider. One passage notes that the spy the venom produces a state resembling death, and then some Andean tri and that some Andean tribes use the venom during a rite of passage, in which uh, initiate boys experience a symbolic death lasting two to three days. Now that I've seen this, I should ask more questions. Bolivian spider tranquilizing venom matches dead spider. Zoology reference states a uh, state. No, yep, 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 yep. Okay. Hello, sir. Doctor Wilson. An Hello. Colleague. He wrote prolifically. Probably no one will ever amass the amount of knowledge he acquired. Tell me about this My spider. My thesis subject. My South American colleagues tell me that this particular arachnid is only found in the Bolivian Andes. Fascinating subject. Okay, good to know. Oh look, a crate. Similar to the ones that we found. Small books, an empty box labeled Arachnid Harpedectus. And it's empty. I believe I empty. should re-interrogate a suspect. An eminent colleague. He yeah, yeah, wrote yeah, yeah, yeah. prolifically. Probably no one will ever amass the amount of knowledge he acquired. Okay, I'm most vexed about that. A rare specimen of the sort I've been studying for years. It escaped a few days ago, no doubt due to that scatterbrained assistant Virginia. Not as scatterbrained as I'm suspecting she to be. Uh, even. Ha uh, having to have some house repairs done. Oh no! Yeah, storms could be a bit of a bitch. Um, I'm I'm really sorry to hear that, but you know, at least the repairs are able to happen. Um, good luck with that. Oh, I didn't I didn't scan him. Arachnologist, okay. Uh. I do need to talk to Virginia again. I'm pretty sure I have my murderer, but... Oh. Is that light? Yes. Okay, I was gonna say, is that light or is that blood? 
All right, we've got there's Professor Silas, an a uh, fellow anthropologist. We have a table, a book, a book case, um, and a, and a thing on the floor. Let's talk to Silas. Hello, sir. The anthropological Bang. sciences have lost a great mind. He revolutionized the field. It is my fond hope that I may inherit his mantle. I recently traveled to Africa in order to continue studies on the indigenous tribe Professor Bing discovered some time ago. Dude, your face is shiny. Alright, what's at the table? The pedestal with nothing on it. However, on a descriptive label, it is written Bogesu, tribal mask, a jackal. Kessa, Bagesu. Oh, something about a tribal. Oh, Silas. Silas, oh, naughty boy. Unless Virginia, but still. I finally fixed some stuff up. Yeah, it, repairs and, you know, break and construction and stuff can be annoying, but they're always good to have. Uh, stream been fun so far? Very much so. Very much so. Thank you for asking. Uh, it's very much good to be back. Um, <clears throat> I had a very, er uh, I had a very early day today, uh, comparatively to my usual schedule. Um, I had to get up early and do some stuff. Um, so I've been a bit off and tired all day, but, you know, I'm getting that energy back and I'm really enjoying it. I'm, I'm glad I'm back. I'm happy to be back. A uh, book written by Professor Bing, The Intriguing Customs of Deepest Africa. An entire chapter is torn from it. Interesting. A chapter is torn from this book. Um, if, if my friend Yvonne was in the chat, she would be having Now that I've seen this, words. I should ask more questions. All right. And let's talk with this. A well-stocked library of anthropological books. A significant number of them are by Professor Bing. All well thumbed. Okay. I'm get a Bagesu mask missing. Hello, Mr. Shiny Face. We need to have another word or two. Tell me about Which Bing's one is butt. That? Sorry, difficult to read. I've lost my spectacles somewhere. Ah. Uh -huh. Uh-huh. I suspect we are going to find his spectacles somewhere incriminating. So I believe our suspect is in this building. They had means, mo uh, both, uh, both my suspects had means and potentially motive. Um, one de for sure had means and access and motive. Um, yeah, absolutely. I, uh, at the start of the stream, I, I, I was t saying that, uh, I had to set an alarm, cause otherwise, uh, uh, cause I was afraid that otherwise I would forget that I streamed tonight. Um, we, I speculate that we will find the spectacles. Indeed. Hold on, I'm having some background crashing issues. Let me... Do some... Hold on, let me let me do a thing real quick. Give me a second. Uh, close that. That doesn't need to be open. Uh, I'll leave that open. That doesn't need to be open. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, that doesn't. That doesn't need to be open. That doesn't need to be open. Okay. There we go. All right. All right, Miss Virginia, what do you have to say for yourself about this receipt on the floor? I hoped you wouldn't find that. I'm afraid several of the faculty purchase cadavers for research purposes. It's a fact of university life. Hmm. <clears> hmm. <throat> Grave robbery for seven pounds. All right. Well, I think that's all we can get for now from here. 
time to go to the cemetery. <laughs> yeah, uh, setting an alarm. I'm I'm normally pretty good, as long as about things I'm in a habit for, you know, um, like uh, taking meds at certain time or, uh, you know, things like that. Things that you have to do that that you end up doing regularly, uh, repeatedly. I'm usually good for it, but once I get out of the habit, I get out of that habit quick when I get out of the habit and it's it's a it's a problem <laughs> okay we've got some yellow right off the bat let's talk to this sir uh, here Beswick he showed up again first time that's happened in 35 <laughs> years of grave digging <laughs> oh man all right Grave digger. All right, cool, 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 cool. Uh, tomb. Let's let's do the let's look at the let's look at the uh, risen from grave first, shall we? Bing family vault. The lock is broken. The door is ajar. Professor Bing's casket is empty. Of course. I mean, that's valid. That's valid. Um, yeah, when, it, when it's things like that that I want to make sure to remember, I usually send myself I an email. I should go ask about what I've heard. Uh, casket door, jar, broken lock. Okay. Hey, Mr. Uh, Grave Digger. I saw tomb. the sun lock the tomb myself. Okay, so the sun locked the tomb. And he witnessed it. All right. What's this? I wonder. A handkerchief. A large handkerchief with red embroidery. Matches the one at the university. Here's a coat or something over here. Come on. Gravedigger's coat. It's an old, worn coat. One pocket contains a crumpled note. Here's the sum agreed upon for last night's transaction, which probably means the seven pounds for the cadavers that Virginia mentioned. But that could be a red herring. Note in pocket, transaction last night. Okay. What about this? Seven pounds sterling. Now yep, that I've that seen tracks. this, I should ask more questions. The university transaction, seven pounds for body snatching. All right, let's talk to this fella. It's plain that seven guineas is a lot for a bloke like me. I'm careful with me pennies and save for a rainy day. There is a ad starting soon. Body snatching? That's an insult. I'd be in the slammer quick as that if I got caught. So I sell a body or two on the side. A man's got to eat, ain't he? I broke the lock and left him on a barrow just behind his tomb. It was dark, couldn't really see. But some fella come by and cart the old professor off. It's muddy back there. You can likely still see the tracks. All right. muddy tracks right muddy tracks muddy tracks hey look there are even more muddy tracks muddy tracks muddy tracks more muddy tracks. Probably gonna lead us to either Bing's home or the university. Even more muddy tracks. Fuck. 
Bakessa is it could be Bagesu, which is the mask. The jackal mask. Oh, so far we're not heading towards Bing's home. I bet we're going to end up at either Virginia's or Silas's. Here we are just walking down the street. Do da, do da. Don't you look outside at me. Oh, do da day. Interesting. An abandoned house. Here we have tools includes a saw and a small hammer the saw is bloody abandoned house single page a single page torn from a book on the bagesu tribe it it, it describes ceremonial rituals involving sacred masks incense and chanting more like smeared smudges yeah inspect ashes a small pile of cold ashes giving off a perfumed odor ritual incense ash ashes bloody saw jackal incense bagesu ritual okay there is a mask missing chapter the ripped chapter an entire chapter ripped from professor bing's book the Intriguing Customs of Deepest Africa. Uh, the chapter describes an African custom whereby members of the Bagesu tribe ceremonial in ceremonially ingest the living brains of respected elders in order to obtain the knowledge of that elder. Oh. Intriguing Customs ingest living brain. Interesting. Here's that missing mask, probably. Ritual jackal. Missing mask. A wooden carved mask of a jackal, which is probably the missing Bagesu mask from the university. We have one more thing. Oh, look. What's this? Spectacles. Standard eyeglasses. Broken in two. Those must be the spectacles. His name was Spectacles. All right. The university is where we are going. So I have a theory. My theory is that Virginia tried to kill him with a spider, but didn't realize the spider was not fully moida. Maybe not, maybe not. Maybe it was purely Silas, but I was gonna say that it, uh, I was thinking that it was Silas came in with, came in after the fact to ingest the brain of the respected elder once he learned he was still alive. I don't know. Yes, that's mine. I misplaced a similar one, possibly at the funeral. I was so upset. <laughs> so upset. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to accuse Silas, Professor Silas. Missing glasses and all of that. I required his knowledge in order to become the greatest anthropologist in the British Empire, and his beloved tribe of savages provided the method. Yup. That Professor Silas was particularly <coughs> cunning me. and gruesome. Mr. Raymond will be thrilled. Not gonna need he's not gonna need his spectacles where he goes. Uh, the mystery of the twice dead professor. The esteemed Professor Bing was the victim of a diabolical plot confected by his colleague and erstwhile acolyte, Professor Silas. Using a powerful spider venom, Silas put his mentor into a deep coma. He went so far as to attempt to eat Bing's brains in an effort to ingest his knowledge. All this was inspired by the very African tribe 
Professor Bing had himself discovered. No doubt Silas's mind was unbalanced, as he believed that he would surpass all anthropologists by absorbing his mentor's cerebrum. Rest in peace, Professor Bing. The Royal Anthropological Society mourns your passing. <laughs> All right. Is there any murder to solve? Do da do da. I don't see any more here now. Oh, they do da day. All right. Oop, wrong button. That's not the button I meant to push. Do da do da. I'll stop. I'll stop. Eventually. Um. <laughs> All right. Uh Um let us do ooh Henry Green. We haven't talked to Henry in a while. So let's go talk to Henry. Good old Henry. All right, Henry. Where are you at, good sir? There you are. Yay! The good old heat of faith. Oh, I didn't think that through very well. How, how dare I assume that there would be a hallway that would go through if I beelined it for the objective? How absolutely dare I? <laughs> uh, yeah, they probably are. I'm having a bit of, uh, I'm having a bit of a delay on my side as well. Um, I have you up on my phone. Um, I don't always see them. Uh, that's the one that's the fastest. Um, but it, I wouldn't be surprised if they're being, uh, delayed even so, because OBS itself is having some difficulties. Um, so I would not be surprised. And then, like, basically... <laughs> you typing the comment, the comment then going through OBS, which is being slow, and then OBS putting the comment slowly up on the screen on the right. Yeah, it's, it is probably slow. And so like, not only is it me being slow to respond to them, there's also because I'm, you know, but also because OBS is being a bit slow. You're fine. It, it's the, honestly, it's this game. Uh, this game is not meant to be played in uh, in borderless mode with a shit ton of other things. <laughs> um, so, like, I have a couple of streams up back here on this. Here, let me pop over to this so that you can see. I have a couple of streams over here uh, on my TV that are running at the same time. Uh, my friend Melador, who was who's uh, who popped into the chat briefly to say he was lurking um you know supporting your friends is awesome and uh another a couple other streamers that i support are running uh back there um i like to look but usually when i'm looking over i'm either checking discord which is also right there or i am checking on the what they're doing on their streams uh just to see what's going on with them uh and then also on top of that i have uh twitch's creator panel up as well as uh obs and uh over here on this monitor right here and then and and then the game right here so like i have a lot happening on screen all at once uh my computer can handle it but i'm not sure the game in obs can <laughs> so um yeah, occasionally, it's been kind of, that's one of the reasons I had to close some stuff that I had running in the background on the computer, because it was causing uh, Chrome to crash, and it, it was a thing. But, uh, yeah, I appreciate the understanding. Uh, it's pro it's not your fault that the that the comments are showing up. That the, 
messages are showing up slow. Um, OBS is trying. Oh, I didn't swap back. Here we go. Hello, Mr. Grain. Oh, good. You're both here. I have something to give you. That really isn't oh. necessary. More gifts? Suddenly on the train. You spoil me, Greeny. Templar numbers are dwindling, and I hate to admit it, but the rooks are thriving. Did you hear that, Evie? Thriving. Your time in London has been well spent. I am proud of you. Oh, he's proud of us. Such a fatherly figure that would be incredibly uncomfortable if so if there was a romance happening between one of the uh, between him and one of them. I have feelings. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's see here. Uh, who's this? Charles Dickens. To Robin Topping. Let's go see Mr. Topping. Uh, yeah. Let's go see Mr. Topping. There he is. Actually, hold on a second. I might be able to help mitigate some of this stuff. Let me... Oh, I can't drop that. Of course not. That would be too easy. Uh, that off. That might help a little bit. And then... Um, ooh, I could just pop out the play. I don't know if it's... Uh, that defeats the purpose. No, we're fine with that. Um, refresh here just to help them out a little bit. And, yep, okay. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm back. I'm here. All right. I just suddenly had an idea of what I could do to help uh, OBS and stuff from uh, having to help the game stop from causing as much. I mean, actually, hold on. If I do video and then display and then proper full screen, will that fix the issue? Only one way to find out. And now we see. Dooby 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 da do da do da. So far, actually, it looks like it's fixed the issue. Hey, I was just making things worse for myself. Go figure. <laughs> no, down, down. There you go. Hello, Mr. Topping. Good old Bobby. Champions of the street, champions in the ring. Is there anything you two can't do? Fly. Hmm? Are you quite sure you don't remember me? That night at the laboratory? No? Oh, well, never mind. I have a little something to commend your remarkable performances. That night That's something we have already collected. Hmm? Definitely not what you think. <laughs> Valid. You know, you know, you know, consistently though, the restraint Evie has shown and not shanking her brother with a hidden blade ha is truly admirable. <laughs> All right. Uh, Charles Dickens, another moida. Charles Darwin, Charles Dickens. We're closest to Dickens. Let's go talk. Go talk to some Dickens. Oh God, I'm a horrible person. I've got to go talk to somebody about some Dickens. Oh, Eve. Oh, there we go. 
go. This is where I'm going. And now in the short amount of time since I was looking at the map, I have completely forgotten if we're going to Charles Dickens or Charles Darwin. Well, I guess we'll find out one way or the other when we get there. It'll be a surprise! Ah, yes, Dickens. Good old Dickens. Yes, quite, sir. Yes. How nice to see you again, Mr. Dickens. Is it time for another of the Ghost Club stories? As a matter of fact, yes. Follow me. Number 50, Barclay Square. Four stories high and branded, Beware All Those Who Enter. There have been many strange tales of this dreadful domicile. The earliest report of a haunting was said to be the spectre of a small girl who was murdered by a servant. She could be seen at the attic windows, weeping and wringing her little hands in an agony of despair. Come along. Crazy running while everyone else is just waits. chilling. Yep, absolutely. Another legend on the... claims the attic is haunted by the spirit of a young woman who purportedly threw herself from the top floor windows to escape her abusive uncle. <laughs> her screaming ghost has reportedly been sighted hanging from the window ledge. This residence was briefly owned by a Mr. James Jasper, a choir master and an opium addict. His nephew Edward was betrothed to one of Mr. Jasper's pupils, the fair and delicate Rose. However, Edward disappeared under mysterious circumstances, followed by Jasper himself. Perhaps grief sent him back to the soothing arms of his narcotic mistress. Interesting. There you go. Slowly. That's it. Or we? well too, Mr. Chicken. Though this house is vacant, some say it comes alive at night with screams of terror, ringing bells, and slamming shutters. All right, so back door is open. That's always a good sign. Oh, someone's playing the piano. Hey, look, like I said, someone's playing the piano. Although eerie, this phenomenon is easily produced by pneumatic tubes and valves. There are claims that a young man was caged in the attic, his only connection to the rest of the world a tiny hole in the door. A young man who was reduced to madness by this extreme isolation. The legends all seem to focus on one room in particular. Well, up the stairs we go. A sudden draft. Nothing more. My word, perhaps, perhaps I shall wait here while you investigate the source of that laughter, which is not at all unsettling. I mean, there was a literal child at the top of the stairs, so... I get to tackle a child. Must 
three children, all three of them being little shits. Tell me, why were you at that house? What's it to you? Out with it. Right, all right. We were there for the treasure. We found a key to the secret passage. What secret passage? Yeah, number 50's got a secret passage. Here, take it. Just leave me be. Yeah, no, the truth of the matter is there's supposed to be four stories and there's a stair there's obviously a staircase here. You know? But there's no other way you can get to the staircase cuz the building ends right here and this door probably doesn't go up. It's probably like a bedroom or a closet. So, you know. Also, I wonder if that could possibly be the obvious keyhole. I've found a lock, but I haven't located the key. It's here. All right. Come on. Open. There you go. Hey, look, the door to the first to the fourth story. Or at least some of the fourth story. Ha! So this is how it works. Impressive. Get out of my house! There was no one lord whose love for Rosa came near to equaling mine. Get out of my house! Draws a dagger. Single bop to the head and he's down on the floor. It should have been enough to keep my beloved nephew away. My poor Ned. Forgive. I did it! I wonder if Ned is uh, the Ned we know. Because, you know, back in the day, they would not have treated trans individuals well. And the Ned we know is very much a trans individual. Coward, the fight was over immediately. Alas, the myth has been discredited. There was no ghost in Barclay Square, just a wretched soul driven to murder and madness by guilt and intoxication. I think this is the makings of a rather fine novel. I wonder if I've got one left in me. Right? I've always wanted to live in a house with a secret passage too. And like the truth of the matter is they're not that hard to make. Uh, you don't even technically need to build a custom house for it. Um, like, uh, or even like knock out a wall necessarily just to have a room where instead of a door, it's a bookcase, you know? Yeah, this is what I meant to do. We now have Charles Dickinson's cane sword. All right, uh, it's here. It's nine o'clock. We have an hour left. Let's go see another. Let's go do another Charles Dickens. It. 
Oh, absolutely. Um, absolutely. How about you not do that to people? Um, the, uh, so actually, hold on. Let me full screen myself for a second here. So I used to live in Asheville, North Carolina. And if you're not familiar with that area, there is, um, uh, the, the Vanderbilts had a mansion there or still technically do. It's, uh, the Biltmore house. Um, and, uh, the in the year that before moving to where i live now um the uh i finally had the opportunity to go on a tour of the biltmore house and the place is gorgeous it's massive if you're ever given with the if you ever have the opportunity you absolutely should um it's essentially a self-guided tour they give you um this little uh uh handheld thing uh, connected to some headphones and then and you can walk through the house and like put in little codes and it'll the tour guide and the headset will talk to you about it um and uh one of the things uh, me me too i am a massive history nerd which is why i love tomb raider and assassin's creed so much um but uh one of the things in the in the biltmore house is there are several several secret passages um there were uh in addition to um let's see there was a secret passage from the uh mail quarters to the i think it was the billiards room uh where they would go uh, and they would basically because they were not allowed to romp around the house in the uh in their casual underwear clothing essentially and in their comfort clothing um men would uh walk in order to get to the billiards room without having to actually get properly properly dressed they would uh go take this secret passage from the male's quarter the male the male quarters side of the house to uh the billiards room and uh that's where they would like have drinks or whatever um <clears throat> And uh, likewise, there were secret passages, I think, from the the ladies' quarters side of the house to I forget where um, for the for the ladies to have essentially their own like little hangout area. Um, but and then there was also uh, um, there was also a secret passageway from one of the primary bedrooms from like one of the master bedrooms i think it was into a library um and where literally we got the tour gets to walk through a one of those uh hidden library door shelves that swings open um and end up in the library where they still have pretty much if not, if not all of the books most of the books that that were in that library of time oh no ad break i wish i'd noticed it um hey i'll say more when we get back from break um You probably can't hear me right now because of the ad break. Oh, actually, actually, you might be subscribed. I don't remember. Are you subscribed? You are indeed subscribed. Hey, look, it says subscribed on Twitch. Novel thought. Um, but uh, yes, the uh, but yeah, they they had in the library they had a lot of like first editions, like classic first edition books, um, that were owned by the Vanderbilt in that house. Um, right, right, right. Uh, <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you for the, thank you for the subscription. Um, anyway, the, uh, um, but yeah, the, 
if I remember correctly, they don't allow like they don't allow you to take pictures in like of the actual like tour parts of the house. Um, you can only really take pictures in the house in like the grand foyer area. So I have a picture of I got to go with um, I, I when I when I finally went, I got to go with my mother. And so there's a picture of the two of us uh, somewhere in uh, in front of uh, it, essentially an atrium of plants in the foyer area and that's like the only place that you're able to take pictures inside the actual house um because they don't one they don't want people to they want they don't want people to look online for it they want you to have to come and see it yourself of course um and two they the photography can like the flashes if you use a flash can damage some things especially books and stuff um and it was genuinely an amazing thing. Like it was a, it was a hell of a walk. Um, and I'm, you know, a bigger man, so it's, uh, it, it, it is a, it, it could be taxing. But it was a lot of fun, and I definitely don't regret doing it. My only regret is that I didn't get to do it more often. Um, and there, the grounds around the house are gorgeous, just absolutely gorgeous. Um, but yeah, if you ever. If you're ever in Asheville, North Carolina, I absolutely recommend you check it, uh, check the place out. It's phenomenal. Um, but uh, there was... Yeah, I do, I do hope to one day get to go again. Um, I just, you know... Money and time is a thing, and it's in North Carolina, and I very much do not live there anymore. Um, so, <clears throat> you know, it's a thing. Slow down. There's been a spate of rather intriguing thefts about town recently. Robberies in London are hardly supernatural events. They look like common robberies at first, but these perpetrators have all claimed to have been under the influence of some supernatural power. I'm not so foolish as to forget that criminals will spin any yarn to avoid the law. However, these thieves all proffer the same defense. They say they were being controlled by a demon. Will you make some inquiries? One of our demon-possessed mobsmen is being held behind bars at this very moment. You may want to begin your search there. You're in Iowa. Well, I'm in Ellen. I'm in. I'm in Illinois, so technically not too far away either. Could be worse. Could be uh, California, opposite coast. What's that man done? Rob the pawnbrokers down the road. A demon made me do it. I can't remember much. That's what's so queer. I've never stolen anything in my life before. Let's pretend that I believe you. Tell me who made you do it. All I can recall is a silver watch swinging in midair. It was held by someone or something. A dark presence whispering. I could only see its eyes. A demon. I'll need to verify this with the shopkeeper. Sorry, I know you were saying something just then, my friend, but... I'm completely transfixed by this guy in the back corner stuck doing the moonwalk. Boom! 
You've been hit by, you've been struck by a smooth criminal. <laughs> Um, I think you had asked at one point, um, I didn't say where, I might have said at most Southern Illinois, but of course I didn't say anything more than that. Um, cause you know, privacy. Um, but, uh, you know, I don't want to just out myself on the freaking internet. Um, but, uh, yeah, uh, Southern Illinois, technically. Well, there's not really any technically about it, but yeah. I should just take a horse. Go on. <laughs> that was a little wide. That was a hell of a wide turn. <laughs> Tell me about the robbery. There's not much to say. Most of the items did come from the same seller, Enzio Capelli, Sorcerer Supreme, the famous showman from Italy. Several weeks ago, he was forced to pawn his family heirlooms, debts. <clears throat> I have the address of the last person who redeemed something of his, a lovely pearl necklace. That helpful? Not a guy. Told his... Stop her! Stop! Somebody stop that thief! <laughs> Pawned his stuff and then is using his hypnosis abilities to get it back. You took something from a pawn shop. What's going on it's over all there? very hazy, but What's I remember there? something silver flashing in front of my eyes. Then I heard a sort of bell. Next thing I know, I'm What's here with you. What the devil? My only lead is this mysterious buyer. I need to stop before I get copyright struck. <laughs> Not that I can actually sing the song well enough to be, you know, but <clears throat> still, would rather not risk it. recognizable that i mean on the same on the one hand good that's good i'm not that completely tone deaf on the other hand uh oh <laughs> evie this how about you stop me to the demon <clears throat> how about you slow stop slow walking and let me oh tail him if i'm on the same cart as the thief tail the thief without getting spotted okay We don't actually have a theater. <laughs> I have to. I where I live, I have to drive an hour to be able to actually go to a theater. Like the the nearest one and the nearest theater is an hour away. Um, if I really want to go to a proper theater, I have to go an hour and a half ish away. Yeah, Southern Illinois is. I mean. Iowa. I don't know where in Iowa you live, but like it's Southern Illinois is mainly cornfields. 
Um, so. Cornfield or Beanfield. Fields is the important thing. spotted me. Darn. I wanna... Yeah, I'll go ahead and re restart from last checkpoint. Ah, I see, I see, I see. Yeah, no, um... The... There are some cities here. Uh, it's just that where I specifically live is... Uh... Heck, it complicated it's complicated that's all i that's all i sh should and can really say <laughs> but yeah it's um basically i live in some of the more remote aspects of uh southern illinois because it is hella cheap to live here. <laughs> it's honestly kind of partly why I'm like, but partly why I'm like, I mean, if you want to try to dox me, good luck. It's like the, it's like the third, third cornfield from the left or something, you know, that kind of stuff. But no, not really. Uh, oh no. Well, don't worry about saying any specifics. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, I do miss going to the theater. Um, however, uh, the, uh, what I miss, really miss, is the five dollar movie nights, or the, uh, you know, those those I miss. Um, but I haven't had those since moving from. Actually, I haven't had those. I haven't been near a theater that did that since college, uh, which was a good ten years ago now. No, what year is it? Twenty twenty four. Like fifteen years ago now. Jeez, I'm old. Um, but, uh, <laughs> maybe, maybe, uh, maybe they can, who knows? Uh, there's a guy on TikTok who could probably find me. Um, <laughs> not that I'm challenging him to don't like clip this and send this to him. I'm not challenging him to, I, <laughs> um, but, uh, he could probably if he wanted to, um, but uh, yeah, the the five dollar movie nights were nice. Um, the uh, let's see, the, I think the last film I saw in theater was Avengers Endgame. Give you an idea of the last time I went to a theater. Um, yeah, Yuval, I believe his name is. Um, he's 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 awesome. He's awesome. I love his stuff. He's great. Um, he, he is everything I wish I was intellectually. Uh, <laughs> um, the, uh, but, um, yeah, the last, I, I'm pretty sure the last movie I saw in theater was Avengers Endgame. Um, and that was, you know, back then. Um, it was in the before times, before the Rona, before the COVID. Do 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 do. 
Don't mind me, I'm just gonna crawl my way through here. I think I see the cart he's going for. Awesome! Yeah, let me know what's playing. I don't even know what's out currently. I like I've been keeping up with what's coming out, just not like that not like oh my goodness. Just not like religiously, you know? Like I haven't been going, ooh, what's out, you know? Just because like I said, it's an hour to drive to the nearest theater and none of them have like $5 movie days or anything like that. And also, for personally, it's not as fun going to a theater alone. I prefer going to theaters with at least one other person. Um, like, I don't mind it. I will do it if I if I if there's something that I really want to watch, but it's not as fun. But yeah, if you do see something, let me know. All right, we're going straight up. Ouch. Damn it, he's okay. Fine, we're just gonna let it go because <clears throat> it's already 9 30. <laughs> I keep getting that close, you know? Oh well. Dude. That's it, girl. Got out. Shoot. Why is she? <laughs> well, tell me what main ones you what main one cat what main ones catch your eyes. Mr. Enzio Capelli, I presume? 
So you're responsible for the theft of your own jewels? You are very much mistaken. Aren't you, my child? Yes, I'm very much mistaken. Hold on. You are very much mistaken. And now you are so very, very tired. Ah, interesting. Aren't you? Yes, I'm very, very tired. Now, you're going to do a little job of work for me, aren't you? Pretty sure that's not how hypnosis works, but I don't know for sure. <laughs> My goodness, what foul behavior. What's going on? Where am I? You've been arrested for theft. How very intriguing. I can't remember a jot of it. Let's get you out of here. I've pulled a few strings and they won't prosecute on account of your losing your mind. Be <laughs> free, little chicken. Yeah, I'll, I'll replay that one on my own time. Uh... But now Enzio Capelli has very much made a uh, enemy of me. Uh, but first, let's actually produce a, a, a pro progress some of the main storyline. Yeah, Godzilla vs. Kong. I'd heard about that one. Um, oh, there was a Ghostbusters one. Cool. Oh, yeah, the, the Zendaya tennis one. Is that what you're talking about with Zendaya? this one. Yep, okay. Yeah, I, I've, I have heard that that one's really good. Also, there's the hilarious uh, trend of Spider-Man and their love interests from their movies ending up being in Spider-Man going into war movies and their love interests going into tennis movies. That is hilarious. But cool, cool, cool. Yeah, um, Tobey Maguire went into a war movie after his for, as after his role as Spider Man. Um, Kirsten Dunst went into uh, a tennis movie after she was in Spider-Man. Um, Emma Stone in a, was in a tennis movie. Andrew Garfield did um, a war movie. I forget the name of it. Um, and uh, Tom Holland was in a War movie and now Zendaya is in this tennis movie. It's like it's law or something. All right, B. Who are you and what's your game? The Sinopian Club, huh? Oh, I didn't read the thing. Hold on. Jacob hunts for Prime Minister Disraeli at the Sinopian Club to trace the mysterious B, who is planning Disraeli's assassination.
I think my target was alerted, y'all. <laughs> yeah, movies. I I really love movies. Um, obviously, I have my preferences uh, of what I would prefer to see and stuff like that. But I'm not too picky. Um, you know. Well, if it isn't my dear old chum, Mr. Disraeli. Now, Prime Minister, which of your friends is about to stab you in the back? The Corrupt Practices Bill is a vital step in reforming our government. If the majority party is allowed to dictate the results of contested elections, we can scarcely call ourselves free. If we yield up our rights bit by bit to the courts, we can scarcely call ourselves free, sir. This is so like you, Gladstone. You would rather throw your body upon the gears of progress than surrender one iota of power. By God, Disraeli, you are a fool. I'll not stand idly by and watch you drag parliamentary privilege through the muck. No, certainly not. You'd rather return us to the yoke of tyranny. Perhaps while we're at it, Mr. Gladstone, we could repeal Magna Carta and return the crown to the bloody Stuarts. I try and 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 I try. But yeah, uh, movie buff, book buff, game buff, history buff. Let me just stand well, in the middle of you three. My dear old chum, Mr. Disraeli. Now, Prime Minister, which of your friends is about to stab you in the back? The Corrupt Practices Bill is a vital General step around the nerd. <laughs> if the majority party is allowed to dictate the results of contested elections, we can scarcely call ourselves free. If we yield up our rights bit by bit to the courts, we can scarcely call ourselves free, sir. This is so like you, Gladstone. You would rather throw your body upon the gears of progress than surrender one iota of power. By God, Disraeli, you are a fool. I'll not stand idly by and watch you drag parliamentary privilege through the muck. No, certainly not. Ah. Okay, sir, you are being a pain in my ass. Can't kill any of the guards, though. Maybe I need to not be on the ground. That's, maybe that's what I need to do, is not be on the ground. Let's try it from up top, see if I'm not too far away. Drew it on the ground! Well, if it isn't my dear old chum, Mr. Disraeli. Now, Prime Minister, which of your friends is about to stab you in the back? Oh shoot, I am yep, nope, not in the right area. The corrupt practices bill is a vital step in reforming our government. If the majority party is allowed to dictate the direct contested elections, we can scarcely call ourselves free. If we yield up our rights bit by bit to the courts, we can scarcely call ourselves free. You would rather throw your body upon the gears of progress than surrender one iota of power. By God, Disraeli, you are a fool. I'll not stand idly by and watch you drag parliamentary privilege through the muck. No, certainly not. You'd rather return us to the yoke of tyranny. Perhaps while we're at it, Mr. Gladstone, we could re... While we're at it, Mr. Gladstone, we could repeal Magna Carta and return the crown to the bloody Stuarts. How dare you, sir? Merely because I do not wish to see government placed in the hands of judges, you would make these slanderous accusations? I'll not stand for it. Then I shall obviate the requirement. Movie theater oh, popcorn is really me, good. Sir. Um, nachos are pretty good too. Nice! That's very nice. I love it when theaters are like that. Benjamin Disraeli. 
Israeli. B, I presume. Pleasure to meet you. B. B. My name's Herbert. And why are you following the Prime Minister? It's just a job, sir. There's some old bloke paying me. Smug bastard. But that's what the B stands for. Avoid all of the sniper's shots. You're fine. You're absolutely you fine. Know? Where did you come from? Well, I was born in Crawley, but that's by the by. Who are you working for? Oh, uh, I never got his name. Uh, old chap, big moustache, wore some kind of uniform. Who's ours, maybe? What's his game? Please, you'll kill me. And a three-story drop will shatter your legs and send you to the workhouse. Difference is you can run from him. Tomorrow! Oh, my lads are going to attack the Prime Minister's carriage on the way to Parliament. Perfect. Yeah, I will say this about Jacob. He does have he does have nice hat. Uh he does have good hat game. All right. Progress log, progress tracker. Next is the body though. Oh, I should have read that. Hold on. Jacob attempts to stop the assassination of the Prime Minister, then question him as to the identity of the killer in the military jacket. And that's probably this. Your nearest fast travel is here. But again, you're you're absolutely fine about with with blabbing and doing other things. You don't have to be actively watching. <laughs> I do appreciate I appreciate you so much. Don't worry about it. Right there. Come on. Here we go. Yay. I feel like you're at a point where you, you know, don't apologize. You're fine. Gen genuinely speaking, you're fine. Don't apologize. There's nothing to apologize for. Just get a, just get one of those squirt bottles, like for cats or something, and just or dogs, and just be. You're fine. <laughs> 
bloody god. They can plan to warn the Prime Minister of the threat to his life and, the, and question him as to the identity of the man in uniform named B. Two so weeks and three days. You mean, way into that carriage. you mean 10 minutes? <laughs> All right, where is he going? Where am I going? Oh, I'm going over here. Okay. Anonymous. I mean, it makes sense. They don't want us disappearing into cutscenes and breaking the, you know, stuff. Okay, how about now? Will you let me in now? <gasps> What's the meaning of this? Who the devil are you? Prime Minister, <laughs> I'm your new bodyguard, Jacob Fry. I wasn't informed of any new bodyguard. Who's your commanding officer? Let the boy speak, Dizzy. <laughs> Madam, apologies. But we've learned of a threat on your life. And the Met thought it best to move quickly. Threat? What sort of threat? <gasps> that sort. If you excuse me a moment. Where'd they come from? Yes, yes. Come on. Come on. Jacob, get off the wall, my guy. enemies, yeah. A few. Jacob, your guy is getting away, my friend. Got a little distracted, hey, huh? Get back here with that prime minister. Get back here with that prime minister. Lol. Sorry, people. Don't mind me.
Mr. Fry. It was Gladstone. I bet my life on it. This is perfectly in keeping with this distinct lack of character. Show yourself, Gladstone! Show yourself, you feckless muck snipe! Feckless muck snipe. about Gladstone, young man. I assure you, madam, Gladstone is innocent in this. But he tried to kill my husband. Well, we'll look into Gladstone. Perhaps you can help me with another inquiry, madam. A gentleman with ties to Parliament, older, wears cavalry uniforms and has a large mustache. You seem like a rough and ready sort of fellow, Mr. Fry. <laughs> well, yes, I am, actually. And are you familiar with the poorer districts of our city? Roughly. Wonderful. As it happens, I've been eager to tour the Devil's Acre. If you were to escort me, I'd be happy to yeah, assist you in your inquiry. That strikes me as a dangerous idea. Then it's settled. Come back here to Downing Street tomorrow night, eight o'clock sharp. Good day, Mr. Fry. But I... Good day, Mr. Fry. <laughs> I love that she left him completely befuddled. Alright. Um Oops, wrong thing. I'm in the completely wrong area. Progression log. Time. Okay. Progress tracker. Driving Miss Disraeli. Uh, Marianne Disraeli wants to see the Devil's Acre, and she requests the help of her new bodyguard, Jacob. Okay. Uh, before we get into that, uh, I have to run to the restroom. So I will be right back. Don't go anywhere. have returned oh you have to go to sleep that's okay it's it is late it is very much late um now technically speaking i do have 10 minutes left to stream i do i aim for uh 10 p.m central time um so to for the end but if you if you gotta go you gotta go life and work and all that is important so that is definitely something you should do So this is the one I just got. All right. Hey, 
Hello, Miss Dizzy. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. I appreciate that. I mean, you don't have to, Madam. but I do. If you decide Mr. to, I do Frag. appreciate that. Ready to take the air? Devil's Acre should just be coming alive. I'm afraid I must cancel our engagement. The lawn is crawling with scandal-hunting journalists, and I simply cannot be seen in the company of someone so... I'll see them off. You follow along when it's clear. Yes, yes. Uh, be gentle, won't you? The press are notoriously touchy about any violence to their person. Ha, 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 ha. I'll barely ruffle a hair on their heads. Shh, Desmond. Best boy. Puppies, the corgi's name is Desmond. Uh, and th I just remembered there is a funny, funny thing. A note from Sean and Rebecca saying not funny universe not funny at all geez what'd you find in there sean's been locked in his room for hours i can't find the whiskey and i'm pretty sure i hear crying because <laughs> oh! their buddy desmond and now he's a corgi yeah <laughs> or at least the name is yeah but uh interesting factoid um i have a cosplayer friend uh cosplayer and streamer friend who has a corgi that uh, she has named, uh, nearby paper girl, um, that she has named Desmond because of the corgi in this game named Desmond. That's yours, if you can get those chaps over there to follow me. Right you are, sir. Best lead them astray before they tear me to shreds. Your arm, Mr. Fry. Let us see what the Devil's Acre has to offer. Do not get detected by the thugs in the slums. <clears throat> Is your dog quite all right? Oh, Desmond's fine. Not over fond of strangers or cats. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, ah. 
thought we were trying to avoid attention. Hush, Desmond. You know, Hush. this gentleman is a... Oh, what was it? Yes. A costermonger. Of all things. Remarkable how the working classes occupy themselves, isn't it? Very industrious, I'm sure. Shall we go? That was the Eucharist. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I have no earthly idea what you're talking about. <clears throat> Mrs. Disraeli. Every trying to whistle. Right. Oh, yes. I've just learned to whistle. Right. Damn. Just redo it on my own time since we're so close to 10. Terror of London's underworld. <sighs> now let us continue. Why, Mr. Fry? Kinda. I do believe that man is drunk. I expect you're right, madam. I'm going to. Oh my! Stop! Mr. Fry, shall we press on? Ah, oh, it's lucky I'm trying to keep out of this rubble. Uh, what sort of meat is that man selling? Best not to ask. Why? Is it something dreadful? <gasps> is it rat? I don't mean to be indelicate, given the present company. But another name for it is Bow Wow Mutton. Here we are, the old one-ton pub. Bow Wow Mutton. So this is a pint, is it? Huh? <laughs> Remarkable. <sighs> nice doggy. <laughs> Change your tune when me and my friends find you. <coughs> now then, Desmond, to get you back to your mistress, whom I have just left entirely unattended in one of London's most dangerous pubs. Oops. Well, if you never told your father how you felt about him, how oh, was he supposed so to know? I never thought of it that way. I suppose deep down we all just want to be loved. Just so. Mm. Here, have a sweetie. Oh, Desmond and Mr. Fry, I'd like you to meet... Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. John the Tosser. Charmed. <laughs> I think we'd better get to you Right you are, Mr. Fry. Come along, Desmond. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she ended up having therapy with these guys. <laughs> All right, we're gonna be wrapping it up there, more or less. Um, well, well, well. If it isn't the dog walker. <laughs> now, let's not do something we'll regret. Okay.
Okay, so we're not quite done, but I'm gonna start wrapping it in the process of wrapping it up because it is 10 o'clock and that is the deal. Uh, so, uh, those of you who need to go to bed, you should absolutely go to bed um, and have a good night. Uh, I appreciate you and every single one of you. Tomorrow we'll be back with more Tomb Raider Tuesday. Um, I must thank you for a most energetic and enlightening evening, Mr. Fry. No, thank you, madam. Perhaps now you might tell me about the man in the Hussar's unit. Wait, wait. Lord Cardigan is the gentleman you seek. Tiresome. Always blabbering on about his military adventures. Do you know where I might find him for a Goodnight. private conversation? I do indeed. He's in town now, as it happens, campaigning against the Corrupt Practices Bill. Perhaps you could catch him in the Palace of Westminster. Oh, do be careful. The government can ill afford another scandal. I assure you, I'll be very disappointed. Oh, that was a shot. Hold on. Hold That's on, hold on, hold on. I need a screenshot of that. That was a gorgeous shot. Steady on. Oh, beautiful. All right. Uh, but uh, yeah, we'll be back tomorrow with more Tomb Raider Tuesday. Um, and the rest of the week should be back on schedule as per usual. Um, damn, wrong button. I did the wrong button. I did the wrong button. Uh, you should absolutely check out these amazing people I have listed up here at the top of the screen. Um, <clears throat> they're some great friends, which includes Melador, who I mentioned earlier and who's been lurking. Let's go. And uh, some other friends of mine. They're really amazing, and they're probably more entertaining than I am. Um, <laughs> Damn it, I keep doing that. Hold, please. Your stop, madam. My stop? <laughs> How delightful. Uh, thank you. Thank you for a splendid evening, Mr. Fry. I shall be sure to speak highly of you to Dizzy. <laughs> oh, yes. Charming. Um... <clears throat> but, uh... Yeah, anyway, that's it for me for the night. Um, like I was saying, uh, you should absolutely check out these amazing people I have listed up here at the top of the screen. I have even more recommendations in that link tree right listed right here. Um, speaking of that link tree, uh, if you go to that link tree, that's places where you can find me and support me and um, follow me for social media stuff and chat with me in Discord, all that wonderful stuff. Uh, that's all in that link tree, which is link tree slash Crimson Knight right here on screen. Um, and below that, you'll see uh, patreon.com slash Crimson Knight, where you can support me monetarily if you don't want to support me through Twitch, which is fine. Um, but uh, yeah, tomorrow we'll be back with Tomb Raider Tuesday, uh, doing more of the most recent and final of the Tomb Raider games. Um, and so until then... Uh, remember to have empathy, be kind, be safe, love yourselves and love everyone around you, and I will see you all next time. I love you all. Peace out.